There you go, Doug. We got him. You see him right there? They're ahead of him. Coming up, coming up to I-10 here. We've been uh, following this for about the past 10 minutes, actually trying to catch up with us. From what we understand, this is a Dodge Challenger, uh, and it is a Hellcat, 707 horsepower motor in this car, and obviously going way faster than the speed limit here. Uh, this is just Ooh. outside the Beltway on I-10. We're heading eastbound now, and uh, probably about 100 miles an hour or so, if not faster. Yeah, Don, uh, that, police that are car in is pursuit. moving so fast. I'm not getting mixed Midas on my IFB, by the way. I'm getting feedback, uh, so I'm turning it down. But, Don, that that vehicle is clearly going at least 110 miles an hour. And, uh, and the police are in pursuit of this, and they lost him for a while because he got so far out in front of them, but the tracker helped them pinpoint exactly where he was, and so they narrowed their focus down in this chase, uh, clearly using the feeder now, the side uh, over there on the emergency shoulder, trying to get around all of these cars. We're out here at the San Jacinto River, heading eastbound on I-10 at a high rate of speed. Well, for fear that I will lose him, uh, I can tell you that there were probably a dozen uh, HPD cars in pursuit. Mm -hmm. and at one point, they got ahead of him because he had made a U-turn, so they were already there. Uh, he passed them, uh, and uh, I do know that there are sheriff's deputies involved in this as well as the HPD. Chopper, uh, at least one of them in pursuit with us up here uh, with this chase heading eastbound on I-10. How fast are you going, Don? Uh, our current speed is about 100, uh, 110, so we're kind of keeping up with them. Where that is. Uh, any state troopers? Do you see any state troopers around, Don? Because clearly they're going to have to take control or at least get on this as well because he is way outside of even county boundaries, isn't he? Yes, and I have not seen any state troopers yet. Look at him, look at him, look at him, look pursuit. at him weaving. Wow. Uh, we did, we, he did, pass a uh, unmarked uh, police vehicle that had its lights on just a moment ago. Okay. Um, I, I'm not exactly sure what they plan on doing and how to bring this uh, to an end. Sooner or later, he's going to have to get off the freeway, I assume. Yeah. Well, and you mentioned that there is a police helicopter following him. Have you been able to see any of the officers in his wake? Uh, I know for a little while they lost him because he was so far out in front. Wow, he just sideswiped. It looked like that 18-wheeler. Uh, Don, oh, we man. asked you a moment ago, you said you thought you were going about 110, and you're having trouble on... Well, we are, uh, and, uh, and uh, HPD is uh, as well, but thank goodness we've got uh, the doubler on our camera here so we can take a picture of him from quite a distance. Right. Yeah, we remind the audience that this is not, I mean, he's not right on top of him, our, our, you know, the pilot. He has this incredible zooming lens that can go all the way into uh, that vehicle that it makes it appear that we're right on top, but uh, we're having a tough time keeping up with this guy. And to, and to continue our conversation about our speed, I just checked with uh, Mike Silman, who's uh, at the controls of our uh, Sky Eye helicopter here. We're currently doing... 120 miles an hour, wow. oh, and we are, he is losing. He is losing us. Yeah. Uh, we're, we're we're at the maximum speed right now, but we're going to try to keep with him as long as we can. Uh, but obviously, he still continues to pull ahead. We're going to try to keep up with him as long as we can. Well, I think this is one of the first times where uh, the, the the vehicle has actually outrun the chopper. Yeah. Uh, I, <laughs> I don't know how other way to put it, but I, I think that's what's happening here because it's it's tough to see him and and. Uh, you could see him right there on the far left. He's right there on the shoulder right now, passing that box truck. The HPD helicopter has had to pull off because they were running low on fuel, yeah. so we're okay. out here by ourselves right now. And he continues to move. Now, keep in mind, this guy is traveling well over 120 miles an hour at some point because our chopper is traveling at a, at a top speed of 120, and we can't keep up. Okay, now on Highway 73, headed to Port Arthur, um, already driving past Winnie, and he is, I've, you know what, I, honestly, I've lost track of him. He's somewhere over there on the right-hand side. Um, uh, 
and just moving along at speeds that have been incredibly fast at 130, possibly 140 at times on open stretches. Uh, as we look at these pictures, as Art says, he is so far out in front, it's almost uh, hard to keep up with him, and especially as he moves into this very heavily wooded area there, he's disappearing behind the trees. At, but we've kind of lost him at this point because... Well, he's simply going too fast. Yeah, he really is. HPD helicopter has lost the guy.